So next up, we're going to be talking about equilibrium values. Um, and there's a couple different names that this type of thing um, has. You might also see them called critical points or stationary points. And um, even I'll sometimes use those words interchangeably. I will try to stick to equilibria for you all, um, but every once in a while I might slip up and call them critical points instead. But um, we're gonna start off talking about what the definition of an equilibrium value is. Um, so equilibria, that's the plural of equilibrium, are special values that we're going to denote by y star, so there's some value that like our solution to the ODE takes on. And they're going to be um, defined for a given ODE, <coughs> dy dx equal to f of y, so we don't have, um, like before, f of xy, these can only depend on y in the differential equation. Um, and the values y star that are equilibria are going to be when we have dy dx equal to f of y star equal to zero. So if you can plug y star into the ODE and get zero, that means it's an equilibrium. Um, and then just like I said, the word for the type of differential equation where we can solve for these are um, autonomous. So we only consider autonomous. And that's just the word for it doesn't depend on x over here. Or it doesn't explicitly depend on the independent variable. So for example, uh, if we wanted to go ahead and um, consider the differential equation dn dt equal to rn times k minus n. For some parameters, um, r greater than zero and k greater than zero. Um, this is an autonomous um, differential equation. So r and k are random numbers. Like you could have um, dn dt equal to 0.7 times oops, n times 100 minus n. Um, just r in this case is 0.7, k is 100, and when I write it this way, I hope it's really obvious that there's no dependence on t, our independent variable, so this is the type of equation that we can solve for equilibrium. Um, and sort of putting everything in the context of the definition up above, um, in this case the y is n, and the x that we're not seeing on the right hand side is t. And to find the equilibrium values, we want that derivative dn dt equal to zero, or zero is equal to that rn times k minus n at these special n stars that are the equilibrium. So the equilibria are going to be n star equal to either 0 or k. Um, so if we're trying to set this whole equation equal to 0, it's a product of two things. The product of this first thing, rn, 
um, times the second thing k minus n. And if you want a product to be zero, either of the things you're multiplying has to be zero. So if I want rn to be zero, I need n to be zero. And if I want k minus n to be zero, I need n to be k. Um, and then we've got good time left on this video. So Um, so in that little short example above, and we'll do a longer example later, but we showed what an equilibrium value is and how we find it. Um, and something that you might be wondering is how is this thing related to direction fields? Like why did we cover these two things in the same section? Um, and so I'd like you to sort of recall that the direction field arrows arrows has two R's. So those arrows had slope given by f of x, y, the right hand side of the differential equation, or in this case it would only be f of y for the type of differential equation we're talking about right now because there's no x allowed on that side. Um, so for example, That's going to be f of n is equal to rn times k minus n. That's the thing that we would plug in to get the slope of the arrows in the direction field. Um, and when n star equals 0 or k, f of n equals 0, which means that if we were writing the direction field for this problem, we would have slope zero at those values. Um, and so if you wanted to sort of see what I'm talking about here, um, if instead of talking about equilibria, we were talking about direction fields for this example, um, we've got t versus n are the variables for our problem. Um, I guess I should go ahead and give it some negative down there. Um, and so, <coughs> sorry, I was sick a couple weeks ago and I've got this lingering cough. Um, so if we were making this direction field, we would be evaluating f of n at every point. And what's important to note is that if we're up here at n equals k or down here at um, n equals zero, we would have slope zero. So that's where we would have our horizontal lines. Um, and then in the direction field, we could also consider the slope of the function evaluations above or below. Um, that zero or k. So remember, nothing changes in t because there's no dependence on t. We're just thinking about moving up and down. Uh, if I've got like n bigger than k, then, oops, too far, um, then k minus n is going to be negative uh, because n is bigger than k, but rn is going to be positive because uh, I drew that to be a positive number. So um, what I'm going to have is that f is less than 0. Um, and things are going to point downward. And I could sort of do similar in the middle here. If um, n is less than k but bigger than 0, I'm going to have k minus n is positive. Um, n is smaller than k, that's positive. Rn is positive because it's above zero. So multiplying those two positive numbers together gets me zero. 
So in this case, f is bigger than zero and my slopes would point up. And then um, down below in this negative place I drew last minute, um, wrong direction. If n is less than zero, then um, k minus n is positive. It becomes k plus some number. But our n is negative now because n is less than zero. So those two things multiplied together gives me a negative. And so my slopes would point down. That would be how I would think about this as a direction field problem. And the big takeaway from that would be that the direction field would tell us how things behave around the equilibria. I'm just going to save them. And most importantly, um, equilibria are going to be places that the solution stays at. Um, they're going to be horizontal values on the direction field. So if I was going ahead and I'm sorry, I swapped up the colors on you. Um, before I did the arrows in red and my solutions in green. Um, you know, I, I'm just going to fix that real quick. I don't want it to be confusing. Okay, so if I was coming to the point of trying to trace out some solutions, if I start up here, I'm going to be drawn down until I hit these horizontal lines, and then all I can do is continue over to the right. Same thing if I start here, I'm drawn up, but eventually I hit those horizontal lines, and all I can do is go right. And once you hit these equilibrium values, um, you stay at those values. And so that's kind of how the equilibria and direction field are connected.